them. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Aragorn Classic. This is the quarterfinals or round two. So right now, as the winners of the previous round, the Iron Guard of the Dwarves of Erebor faces off against the Temple Wards of Mordor. And it's quite an interesting matchup since, well, these guys don't generally get uh, face each other in my tournament. At least the ones I've had. So we start right off the bat with the dwarves actually pushing back the temple wards. Which is quite surprising and I love the dwarves' armor. Just look at that. The dwarves look amazing. Look at that. And the temple wards actually look cool too. So that's nice too. Just look at that. The carnage. Complete and not a carnage. Seems like 80. Okay, so it seems like it's fairly even between these two faction uh, units. Which is interesting. I thought. I actually thought that the Temple Wards were going to have a, a bigger advantage consi considering that they defeated the Talon Knights such con so convincingly. Like the Talon Knights got destroyed and like half of the of the Temple Wards were still alive. So probably I, th I thought that they had a bigger chance and it seems like they do. Like... A general the lies slain upon the battlefield. The Temple Wards are actually doing a lot of damage. How? Yeah, but still, the Dwarves still have pretty good numbers, so they could turn the tide. I'm not sure, like, who's actually gonna win this because it can change so much. But yeah, the Dwarves are isolated, they keep losing numbers. And I think this is it for the Dwarves. Yeah, they did well getting to round two, but mm. yeah, hey there. There's only like three guys left. Come on, guys, fight! But yeah, the Temple Woods advance to the next round. This is fairly obvious. Yep. Yes. So the Temple Woods, I quite, I've been doing quite surprising. Like I didn't think they would get this far. Like I genuinely thought the Talon Knights were gonna defeat them. It seems that it won't. It wasn't like that. Let's go with the next battle. The Goblins of Moria face off against Angmar, the heavy Goblin infantry, faces off the Iron Crown Warriors. Who shall win this battle? I honestly think that the goblins have a very unfair advantage of numbers. Like, there's over 200 goblins. Two and a half, 200 and a half, 250 goblins per unit. And they're heavy infantry, okay? So, considering other factions like the Mithlon nobles who are actually going to be facing uh, the Haradrim, uh, they have like 89 people in their units, you know, the, the elves are very low numbers, so yeah, that's understandable a bit, but... Man! Oh, come on! These guys are doing the same thing again. The tactic of, oh, I'm not getting involved, I'm not getting involved, I'm not getting involved. Come on, guys! Come on, who is it? Make sure to comment who you think is gonna win. <laughs> come on, come on, guys. Okay, so these guys are not doing any damn thing. The enemy general's dead, though, so the. Is tiring. Uh, no wonder you're tiring. You have to chase these guys away all the time. Come on. 
Come on, guys. Victory will be ours. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, for goodness sake. Why are these guys running? Why are you running? Why are you running, huh? Come on. Come on, destroy them. is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Come on, these guys just don't... They don't do anything, just flee all the time. They're really pissing me off. Come on. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh my god, these guys are still doing it. I'm gonna destroy them. Very much. Oh, so very much. Come on! Objective complete. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You won't smash a damn thing because you. I'm actually, yeah, you will smash it. You know, this has got me thinking: Are there goblin females in Lord of the Rings? I, I think they are. There are, but I don't know. Maybe there aren't. Uh, they just spring out from holes in the ground. I don't know. Maybe. Because there's, because there's half orcs or half goblins or goblin men or whatever. Come on! And there we go, the heavy goblin infantry advances to the next round to face the temple wards on the semi-finals. Who will be the next two participants who will continue? Let's see who are next. The next battle is the Haradrim with the Serpent Bladesmen against the Mithlond Nobles. Oh, who's gonna win? As you know, my money is on the high elves. Come on, nobles, Mithron nobles, for the win. Sweep the floor with the Haradrim scum. My god, they're actually doing it. My god, they're actually doing it. Jesus, they are sweeping the floor. Oh my goodness. They barely lost any, like, they only lost like 20 people. My god, there's some <laughs> less than 30 people left. Wow, I did not expect this to go so quick between these two. Mental novels are sure impressive. that shines on our disgrace come on guys or we will taste ashes instead of victory again really they're doing the thing where they just come on guys regroup and attack because you're not winning anywhere you're not winning anyway the Haradrim yeah they won't win so I'm just gonna put the middle on noble is tiring Oh my god, this... This is special. And there we go. Time to go to the final battle of this video. The final battle sees the Ar Adunaim Armsmen going up against the Arthedine Knights of the Northern Dunedain. Let's see who shall advance to the semi-finals of this tournament. Come on, uh, come on, Dunedain. 
you can do this. This is your tournament. At least get to the semi-finals. Or the finale. No. Wait. In the semi-finals, if they win, they will face my boys, the Mithalon Nobles. Darn it. I'm still rooting for the Mithalon Nobles. The elves are my guys. Come on. I'm team elf in this one. And surprisingly, they're the only elf faction because all the other ones just... I mean, the Woodland Realm didn't even have proper swordsmen, they just had a... Uh, they just had a bunch of axemen. So, yeah. Actually, this seems like the armsmen can win. Which is kind of surprising. And a bit concerning. These armsmen are powerful. Oh, there we go. Twenty-six uh, armsmen left against twelve Northern Dunedain knights. This is actually a very close battle. The Dunedain are really giving it all they've got, and I really doubt any of it. Oh, there goes the, the Dunedain general. Well, oh, it's a damn shame that they didn't advance to the semi-finals. But at least they advanced around. They weren't like the Rohirrim who just got absolutely wiped out. Or the Breland militia who just got... Come on, guys. Where are the other ones? Oh, there's only like two left. We continue like this, victory Damn. Ours. Let's well, salve upon thank you guys so much for watching. This has been ADG. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. On the semifinals. The armsmen advance to the semifinals to face my boys, the High Elves. Who will win in the semifinals and advance to the finale? Remember, it's Mordor, Moria, High Elves, and Ar Adunaim. Four factions, only one shall win. Only two will advance to the finale. I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.